six parts. Celtics trying to stay on top of the standings. They have the Rangers hot on their heels, just two points back. The Celtics definitely wants to pick up the three at home. Paul Hardley scoring the 45th minute. Slipping it by the goalie. And then in the 71st minute, Scott McDonald had a goal. EI, EI, goodbye goalie. Self 10 points away from third place Dundee United. Rugby Park is the venue for this one with Rangers playing in the red strip. Killy in the blue and white. And Killy defender Grant Murray bringing down Chris Boyd. And the referee says you can shoot from there. From the spot, Boyd stopped by keeper Alan Combs. Goal left up to the half, and something tells me his team is pretty happy about that. The Rangers kept on trying. Again, it's Boyd. Rattles the framework with that one, and Gilly with some desperate defending. A few minutes after that, Rangers probing again. Pedro Mendez finding Nacho Novo. And that strike off the base of the post in the 36. And all those chances for Rangers, and it went goalless for the break. Second half, Kevin Thompson drops into the noggin of David Weir. Finally a goal. 50th minute, and that seemed to open it up. Look at Kenny Miller's superb cross-field ball. Finds Boyd. 2-0, and Boyd's 11th on the season. That one in the 54th. What a fantastic goal that was. Stephen Davis loops it to the far side. Kenny Miller, 3-0 after 87. Time for one more. Rangers, uh, they had little luck in the first, but a lot of it in the second. Chris Broadfoot's strike arcs to Stephen Whitaker. Now 30 goals scored on the season for Rangers. Kilmarnock has now lost six straight games. This one ends 4-0 away to Rangers. And boy, game two, striker Luca Toni returns.